Dandruff is one of the most common skin conditions that everybody worldwide experiences many times in their lifetime. And contrary to popular knowledge that having itchy, flaky scalp is the regular dandruff itself, in fact, it's not the case all the time. And we're going to talk about that on this vlog. <music> What's up beautiful people? This is Frank Yep, your beautiful boy, and thank you very much for joining me today. If you guys have subscribed, well, you are appreciated. If you haven't, please take the time to press that bell and of course subscribe so that you will know from us whenever we have new uploads every week. Alright, so we're going to talk about dandruff. At least you and I know what that is and we have been experiencing Let's that. Let's first talk about the normal physiologic process. So our skin cells, including our cells on our scalp, do multiply as our body needs them. And that is normal. Now, when we have dandruff, what happens is that the skin cells or the cells on our scalp multiply more quickly than normal. That's why they flake off. Now, there are two main types of dandruff. It can be the regular dandruff or the dry scalp or dry skin condition. People with dry skin on their arms and legs are more likely experiencing dry scalp. And dry scalp usually leads to irritation. And irritation eventually will lead to forming of flakes, which is dandruff. On the other hand, the usual or regular dandruff that we all experience is caused by excessive sebum production or what we call seborrheic dermatitis. In seborrheic dermatitis, fungus malassezia is usually the culprit. Fungus malassezia is normally present in our skin, beautiful people. But because of several factors like age, hormones, medical conditions, or treatments, or therapies that we have, they inevitably multiply faster and that results to increased sebum production. If there is increased sebum production, that will result eventually to increase flaking of the scalp. So the technique is if you have dry scalp or dry skin, you don't want to irritate your scalp further. Instead, you want to use very safe products that will help you restore the normal flora or barrier on the scalp. And if you have seborrheic dermatitis, then you want to be able to cleanse your hair, your scalp, the proper way, but making sure that you're also not going to use harsh chemicals or products that can just further irritate it. And so these are the treatments or home remedies that we can undergo. First, we can use anti-dandruff shampoo, which is widely known. Now, there are several formulations available in the market like Perithione Zinc that's found in head and shoulders. Selenium sulfide found in salsan blue, ketoconazole found in nizoral, salicylic acid, which is a famous anti acne ingredient found in Neutrogena tea shampoos, and I even know of some brands that use tea tree oil. Second, we have to stop using harmful hair products, especially for men. Now, I'll be sharing with you some of the things that I usually do to get rid of dandruff or to prevent it. If my dandruff is moderate, then I can just manage by using anti-dandruff shampoo. I usually prefer Salsam Blue, but if it's not available, then I can use Nizoral. Usually, beautiful people, Nizoral for me is for severe dandruff, but I've never really experienced that. It's usually mild dandruff for me. So I use my anti-dandruff for some three to five days straight, at least once a day. And when I notice that the dandruff is already subsided, then I will shift to a safe brand of shampoo. And this is something that I wish to share with you. And for that, I use this Mustela Gentle Shampoo for delicate hair, cleanse, and detangles. This is how the product looks like. Mustela is a French brand established as early as 1950s and I remember beautiful people Doc Ivy one time I even heard Doc Bello say one time that if you're having a bad hair that if you are experiencing irritation or redness on your scalp or you're experiencing dandruff sometimes really the best shampoo to use is something that is mild 
or hypoallergenic and clear, which is something that you can just find in this product. Now, the gentle shampoo is ideal for daily washing and detangling newborn baby and child's hair, tear-free formula. Pleasurable to use because it leaves a unique scent on the skin. The scent, beautiful people, is very nice. It's not so babyish, but there's that natural herbal scent that is just very pleasing. Next is it rinses off easily and does not sting the eyes. Definitely, because this is gentle, so no tears formula. Now, this gently cleanses the hair, 100% agree, prevents the formation of knots, 98% agree. This is one of the few products that's commonly used in NICU as well or neonate intensive care units, even in the hospitals, because of the outstanding quality of this. Now, the texture, beautiful people, is that it's watery. So when you open the cap here, you have to be careful as you pour it on your hand because, again, it's very loose. Okay, and then the scent is just very nice is you just gently scatter it on your palms and then apply it on your hair like circular motion maybe in your first two uses you might feel a little odd as with the texture of your hair as you apply it but you will just feel the wonderful effect after you've already rinsed off now that's another tip for us beautiful people in order for us to avoid dandruff then we also have to make sure that we are rinsing properly. Now you can buy this online. There are also pop-up kiosks at selected malls in Metro Manila of Mastella and that is just something that I really love doing. So here in the south there is one at Alabang Town Center. There's also one at SM South Mall. I think some Ayala malls also have that. This one is 500 ml so it's pretty big and this can really last you for more than a month if you use it every day. The price point of this beautiful people is from 750 to 800 plus. There were some online stores who would sell this for 780 but I know SNR has this for 840 or 850. So again, after using anti-dandruff shampoo for three to five straight days, I would have to shift to Mastella. I'll be using that for the entire month, let's say, while I am trying to make my scalp recover. And then guys, at times, I'm also using conditioner just to make sure that my hair is also nourished. Another tip to prevent dandruff, they say guys, is we should at least be getting enough sun exposure every day. At least like some 30 to 45 minutes of sun exposure and make sure that when you go outside, it's not really the peak of the sun because of course, UV rays can cause skin cancer. Gentlemen, since most of us are working from home, if we can avoid not to wear hair products like gel then that will be so much better we can also give our hair some home treatments like using coconut oil and rosemary oil because they are also very good not only for the scalp but also for the growth and texture of our hair so beautiful people again this is Mastella this is a popular international baby product line and I just really love this right now. I am using many other products from the same lineup and definitely in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to share with you some other products that I have. That is everything. I hope that you learned something from this video. Beautiful people, if you enjoy watching contents like this, please give us a like and help us boost our subscription by sharing our contents with family and friends because we have many vlogs available on this channel that will just benefit many of your friends and family. For any reaction, comments, or suggestions, you know the drill. You can always comment down below. I strongly encourage you to do that so that we can exchange and learn from each other. I respond to you the earliest possible time because you are the lifeline of our channel and your feedback is very important to us. Once more, you guys are appreciated. Thank you very much. I hope that all of you are safe. You guys stay safe. You stay beautiful and dandruff-free and keep living your life. Until the next time.